Good morning, all. It's early. It's just coming on seven. I meant to uh, film the sun just breaking over the uh, dark sky as I rise around five in the morning to have my fire and my unplugged reading time. And then I thought, remember you're trying to share little snippets of your day. So here I am just past seven coming out and it's a crisp cold morning. You can see the remnants of the frost. You can probably hear it underfoot. There's Algernon Ziegel just landing on his flat rock. sea ducks were just feeding. I feel bad having disturbed their breakfast, but I love a morning like this. The tide is well out. You can see much of the beach is exposed, but it's so still just in the beginning of the harbor that you can see the reflection of a solitary bird on a stone just breaking the water surface. And of course the songbirds are starting there mornings. The last of the autumn bittersweet holding on to the branches. Probably those bits are too deep for the birds to get to. So thus in my tradition now of <laughs> trying to just capture a moment of my day to share with all of you a chilly January morning. Gulls on the wing, ducks in the sea, and frost on the ground. And from coffee by the seaside at home to coffee out about the town, I had to run and do some errands today, so I thought I would take you along. And I'm just grabbing a coffee and then heading over to the new Barnes and Nobles. There's a new Barnes and Noble, a small bookstore that opened and I wanted to hop in and see what they had for books and I figured I might as well take you along with me. I'm just trying to, re to really try to take you along more just to get into the habit of recording every day. So let's head on in. We probably won't be here very long, but I'll take you along with me. I like to see, maybe they'll have some Christmas things marked down as well. Since the uh, store's been bought, they have uh, carried more local books. Oh, this is, oh, I, these are darling, these little put together houses. I love that. I have to see if those are on sale. I love that they still carry albums, which is very nice. And, oh yes, I wanted to see um, I mean, I've always been into fabric patterns and old wallpapers and things, but I'm really like increasing that this year. So any sort of uh, beautiful vintage looking patterns or illustrations, anything that has a feel of old wallpaper, I'm just really in love with. So these are actually really pretty bags. And of course, mushrooms have really been uh, taking off this past season. So I always like to look at all the pretty things to get inspiration. I love these repeat patterns. Here's something really, this is really pretty with a peacock. Makes you think of Lalande. So pretty. Let's see. Oh, these are darling. I think these are little tea towels. Yes. Isn't that pretty? Just simple citrus and flowers, but it has a, an almost modern take on William Morris. I like that. Always trying to get inspiration everywhere. <laughs> this is funny game of the year I see. Dim sum? <laughs> I've never played that. I wonder if it's uh, any fun. 
It'll be fun to have on a games night. So I'm going to head back to the magazines because at the very least I want to get at least one uh, British magazine. Oh, let's see, there may be some pretty journals. Again, I love the patterns. See, this is very William Morris wallpaper, botanical prints. Always inspiring me. I'm going to be doing more. Um, I'm actually going to be uh, making fabric for, uh, for dresses this year, so I'm really getting inspired by lots of botanical things. Butterflies, mushrooms, things from the garden. Grab my coffee. Unfortunately, they don't have a cafe in the small Barnes & Noble, so I have to just hop across the street and get a coffee from the Cape Cod Coffee Roasters, but it's really good they roast their own coffee. And to the magazines. Gosh, there are a lot of Christmas magazines still left, even though it's January. <laughs> of course, Cape Cod and the Islands. Cape Cod Life. This is actually a cute magazine. Just to let one know we're in a uh, holiday era. Oh, this is what I was looking for. I love English Home. This is the last one. Oh, and look, speaking of lovely wallpapers and repeat patterns, I'm definitely taking this home with me. I'll have that tomorrow. Oh, I saw this and I wanted to get it, this Country Living Vintage, and I saw it written in pounds, and I thought, oh, 14 pounds, and then I realized it's $24, US dollars. And I'm far too cheap, I should say, frugal, <laughs> to spend $24 on a magazine. But it is really nice. I could come back another day and have a cup of coffee and browse it more free. <laughs> and of course, I have to have a quick look at the Garden and Home magazines. Oh, I love Edward Hopper. Put my coffee down. Oh, New England Home. Native Plants for New England. That looks good. Oh, this book is so beautifully done. Let's see. Oh, dear assistant, gosh, do I need that? Oh, this is kind of an interesting book. Sand and soil, beautiful gardens of the Cape and the Islands. It's lovely. Well, maybe I'll slow this down when I'm editing, so if anyone wants to read the back, they can. Because even if you don't live on the Cape, it, would, it might be kind of fun, something fun someone may want to order. I should actually put it in my uh, Amazon store. And of course, just to let us know, we're in uh, the East Coast Seaside. <laughs> Lots of Cape Cod. Oh, throws Cape Cod. I do like since uh, Barnes & Noble has been bought by the owner of Waterstones. Now we get to have local end caps, which we haven't had when it had its old ownership. So, And of course, it's a corporate bookstore. I, obviously, I support local bookstores as much as I can. But I was in the area, so I thought I'm going to just pop into the new smaller Barnes & Noble just to see what they have. And uh, again, as I'm taking you along with me, or trying to take you along with me every day, I thought, well, I'll grab my camera and you can come along and have a cup of coffee and browse some books quickly. Lots of Cape Cod books. Well, I think that's gonna do me for today for a short video, so I'm gonna head on home, home again, home again, jiggity jig. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, remember, stay creative. Cheers. Thank you.